Tourism is one of the best ways to preserve remote natural areas like the Galapagos Islands. But we know that tourism comes with a price. Tourism is, um, is part of the problem, but I think it's also part of the solution. It's very important that visitors come to, to Galapagos because each visitor also helps to maintain the park. The park needs visitors and needs good visitors. But as Galapagos has become more popular, so have the challenges of protecting the islands. Today, well-informed travelers and sound environmental practices are vital if tourism is to be part of the solution and help preserve the islands. This section will give you ideas on how you can help. Ecuador has established the Galapagos National Park to administer the islands and surrounding marine reserve. The park designates special visitor sites for travelers, which total only about 1% of the land area. If not properly managed, visitor sites can become congested and overuse will cause permanent damage. For this reason, the park allocates a certain number of visitors to each site, which are open from sunrise to sunset, and boats are assigned a fixed itinerary with a maximum of two island visits per day. Your guide is the key to your Galapagos experience. Guides have a wealth of knowledge about the natural history of the islands and make sure visitors know and follow the park rules. Visitor sites are well marked both to protect the environment and to ensure safety. It's important that everyone stay on the trails. Sometimes the reason may not be obvious. For instance, the open space in the background is a nesting area that conceals eggs. There are many things to discover, and sometimes it's tempting to take a souvenir. But no plants, animals, rocks, or anything else may be taken from the islands or the marine reserve. The adage, leave only footprints, take only photographs, is very important in Galapagos. Be careful not to leave anything on the islands, and if you notice any refuse, please pick it up. Each year, hundreds of pounds of trash are removed from the seashore, some from inhabited areas in Galapagos, some carried in by sea currents from the open ocean. Part of the magic of Galapagos is that wildlife has no fear of humans. But with thousands of visitors each month, careless behavior could eventually change this. And it can also endanger the welfare of animals. It's important not to feed or attract wildlife with food, on land or in the water. Animals have special nutritional needs, and introducing new foods can harm them. And touching wildlife is potentially harmful as well. Sea lion mothers, for instance, use the unique smell of their pups to identify them. Be mindful about how you approach and interact with wildlife. Don't follow or chase animals, and avoid surrounding them so they don't feel confined or threatened. If you disturb birds, they may abandon their eggs or chicks. Try to keep a distance from birds of two meters or more. The Galapagos Islands contain both protected and inhabited areas. When you visit a town, it's good to support the local economy and meet people by purchasing at shops and restaurants. But you can help protect natural areas by not buying items made from animals or sea life, such as black coral, marine tortoise shells, seashells, or these sea lion teeth. 
travelers can be an important positive force by shaping and monitoring the best kind of tourism for Galapagos. As a visitor, you can follow good practices and you can be the eyes and ears for conservation. If you see park rules not being followed, please tell your guide and let your tour company know when you return home.